to my new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use CSS. So if you don't know what CSS is, um, well, first of all, you should know HTML by now if you're going to take this little tutorial. So CSS allows you to style your HTML to make it more colorful and stuff. So look, right now we have like a really basic, you know, colorless page, right? But if we use CSS, we can make it all colored and everything. It'll look cool. So I'll show you an example real quick. You don't have to do anything yet. Just look at what I'm doing. We can say H1 color tomato. I believe that's a color. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, so if you don't know, um, HTML has like 140 colors that are supported. So if, um, I'll pull that up in a second. One second. So here's all the colors. You'll find that in WH, uh, no, w3schools.com. And uh, I'll link that in the description. It's actually where I learned um, HTML and CSS. It'll tell you like every topic about it. But um, I'm going to try helping you do that easier with a video. So anyway, if you look here in the link I'll put in the description, you can see all these different colors. And all you got to do is let the, put the name, not the number or anything like that. So I'll show you. Tomato is one of them that we just put, right? So that's why we put tomato here, okay? And that's that. So also we can change the font size. Let's say 100 pickles. <laughs> pickles? No, pixels. Excuse me. All right. Now let's open it back up. Oh yeah. Okay. If you don't know how to open a, a file of your web page, just go to um, the folder where you made everything, and then find the file that you're just editing, right? And then just double click it, and it'll open with Chrome. And there it is. This is CSS. Look how nice that looks compared to just the ugly black thing. It's just way better. So yeah, this is what you're going to learn how to do, and it's going to be lit. So, let's get started. So, the first kind of um, styling that we're going to learn is not actually what I just did. It's called inline CSS. It's way simpler, okay? So, let's say we want to make this um, blue. Oh no, we'll make it white. We'll color it white. No, 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 it won't show up in the background. So yeah, let's do it blue, okay? So we do style, okay, find whatever um, text tag you want, or whatever, find any tag that you want, even body, head, they, they all work, okay, pretty much. And find it, and then do style, equals, and then uh, double quotes, and this is where you start to put your um, attributes and whatever, all that stuff. So color, and now, uh, colon, and then you put whatever color, right? So blue, okay, and then you can leave it like that if you want to, if that's all you want to put, but if you want to add another one, you put a semicolon and then do the next one. So we could say font family um, sans serif. I think that's one of them. Okay, so let's try that out and see what happens. So this should automatically save. Yep, okay. Yeah, okay, so it works. See, look. I believe that's sans serif. That's good. And uh, yeah, that's that. So color it blue. So let's play around a little more, okay? So let's say you don't want to do just one element at a time, right? Because that can be pretty te tedious, I admit. So let's get rid of this, and we'll do a div, right? You should know all about divs if you did HTML. So we'll just cut this with Control X, paste it with Control V, and now we can style all of them at once inside the div, right? Or we could we could have used body too, but I mean it's more simpler because if you have like more stuff on your web page later on, and you don't if you only want to do like certain blocks at a time, this is where you would use that. So anyway, um, so we'll do a background color, background color. Let me say tomato. Okay, and let's check that. Let's go ahead and check that. I'll just reload. There we go. See, look, tomato. Very nice. Okay. And uh, yep. So let's see. Let's make it more pretty. Okay. So we'll do color. Um, white. So the fonts will be white now, okay? So we'll go ahead and reload, and there we go. That looks way better. So let's make the sans serif too, so it looks more clean, okay? See, san um, CSS allows you to style stuff so much better and make it more appealing. You don't want an ugly website, you know? Oops, I messed up there. You gotta do um, font family. That's how you um, change the font. It's called font family. Uh, I know that can be kind of confusing at first, but just remember that it's, you'll get used to it. So font family is how you change the font, okay? So, and then font size is for font size, right? So we can say sans serif. Okay, and then we'll reload. There we go. See? Looks way better. 
So, hmm, let's say we want to make the whole page, um, you know, that. So we'll go up here to HTML. Oh wait, actually, no, no, no. Put in body. I'll probably be probably be smarter. Okay, then we'll do background color tomato, and it's just going to override this, so it doesn't really matter anyway. They're both the same color. There we go. The whole thing is now that color. So that's really cool, actually. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is a very simple tutorial so far. So, yeah, now you can color your uh, pages now. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll get more advanced in the next tutorial and so on. So I'll see you. Uh, leave a question if you have a question. And uh, leave a like if you liked it. So, peace. Peace.